Are you a Mac user who's been struggling to get Power BI running on your machine? You're in the right place. Recently during one of my Power BI boot camps, one of our attendees needed help getting Power BI running on their Mac. Today, I'm going to discuss two ways that you can get Power BI and run Power BI on your Mac. Whether you're looking for a free solution or you're willing to invest in a premium option that's going to allow you to more easily and efficiently use the tool and run Power BI in your Mac, this video has you covered. Let's kick things off with the free method. Using AWS, Amazon Web Services, you can use Power BI all in the cloud for free if you stay within AWS's free tier limits. First, you'll need to create an account with AWS, Amazon Web Services, if you do not already have one. So you can head to aws.amazon.com to set up your account. Once you have set up your account and you have logged in, then you're gonna head over to the EC2 dashboard. Here, you're gonna go through the steps to set up your Windows server. You will choose from here the uh, data center region that is closest to your location. Once you have chosen your data center location, then you will need to go ahead and choose and set up creating a key pair. So you'll create that key pair. You can give your key pair a name. You can call it something like Power BI uh, Desktop something that's easy for you to find and access. And then you will go ahead and select create key pair. Now in just a moment, you'll see that key pair will be available there and you will see that it is also starting to download on your machine. Now, once you have created that key pair, then the next step you will need to go back to your EC2 dashboard where you will then want to go ahead and launch an instance. With AWS, you will set up your Windows instance using their EC2 service, and you will download and install that Power BI desktop application just like you would on any normal Windows PC. You'll only pay if you go beyond those free limits. Now, the downside is performance might not be perfect. It will be a lot slower and you might find that it could disconnect on you pretty frequently. And depending on your network connection, uh, this can be quite the uh, uh, imperfect process. So let's take a look at running Windows and Power BI Desktop using Parallels. Parallels lets you run Windows directly on your Mac and it integrates it really well, making it feel like those Windows apps like Power BI are native Mac apps. It's fast, reliable, and pretty easy to set up. Yes, it's a paid software, but if you are gonna be using Power BI regularly and you wanna use it on your Mac, Parallels is the way to go. So setting Parallels up on your machine, you will want to go to parallels.com. Now, here is where you can buy your Parallels subscription. You can buy that license. All right, let's dive into the setup process with Parallels. First, you're gonna head to Parallels website at parallels.com. Then you can select either buy now or try free. I'm gonna select try free here, and then we'll go ahead and enter in an email to get our trial period started. We'll click I agree, and then go ahead and select download Parallels desktop on your Mac. Follow the prompts on the screen and the necessary steps needed to set up Parallels and get this running on your machine. I already have Parallels downloaded and ready to go, so I'm gonna pull up Parallels here now. When you first open Parallels, it will guide you to download and install Windows automatically. Just follow the on-screen instructions and you'll have Windows up and running in no time. Now that we've got Windows installed and running smoothly inside of Parallels, let's take a look at getting Power BI installed. So first I will go to a browser window like Edge. I have Edge open here now on my machine and I'm gonna select download Power BI desktop. Now, once you have searched for that Power BI desktop download, you can scroll down and select Download Power BI. It's gonna prompt a window for you here where you can choose to download the Power BI desktop. 
Once you select this option here, it's going to allow you, it's asking you to go ahead and to download and install this application from the Microsoft Store. Downloading the Power BI desktop through the Microsoft Store will ensure that every single month when a new version of the Power BI desktop is updated and released, by downloading through the Microsoft Store, you're gonna ensure that that version is up and running. So that's the benefit of downloading through the Microsoft Store. But you can download here by clicking open, and in just a moment, the Microsoft Store will be launched. Once the Microsoft Store has loaded, and you can see that Power BI desktop application, yours will probably say install or get. Go ahead and select that button that says get or install so that you can get Power BI downloaded and installed on your machine. Just follow the steps and the prompts on the screen in order to download Power BI, choosing the options that best fit your machine, and then you can get Power BI up and running. I already have it installed here on my machine to save us some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open so we can take a look at using and running the Power BI desktop on a Windows instance right here on our Mac computer. Now, here's the cool part. If you are in coherence mode in parallels, you can run Power BI directly on your Mac without even seeing the full Windows desktop. So it looks just like Power BI is running natively on your Mac, like any one of the other Mac applications, but it's actually running in Windows through Parallels. From here, we can start building out our Power BI reports and eventually dashboards just like you would normally do. So let's build out a sample report here just to see that this does in fact run pretty well here inside of Parallels. I'm gonna select blank report. And here, once the full desktop loads, we have the ability to go out and connect to some data that we have here on Windows. And that's it. Now you've got two powerful methods to run Power BI on your Mac. Whether you go the free route with AWS or choose the paid seamless experience using Parallels, Power BI is fully accessible to Mac users like you. For more Power BI content and training from all of us here at Pragmatic Works, be sure to look into our four-day Power BI boot camps that can help you go from a Power BI beginner to intermediate and advanced in just under a week. And be sure to check out our recent Learn with the Nerds Power BI Beginner to Pro 2024 edition for more content and training on using Power BI. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to our channel for more content from all of us here at Pragmatic Works. And I'd love to know, let me know in the comments, did you find this video helpful or are you still facing some challenges?